Um, there was a, a artist a few weeks ago that had made a statement about um, uh, it was the how mixed people are viewed in her country. Okay. And the the word colored me over there means different. It was Tyler. The word it was who? Tyler. Oh, Tyler. Yeah, the word colored in South Africa means something different than in America. And I was just confused about like. We all black at the end of the day. Like she was saying that if she since she's white and black, um okay. she considers herself colored and not black because she's multiracial. So Oh. Yeah. It, I if that I think it's just a difference in how we view nationality and ethnicity in America versus internationally. So is that like a, a verbiage that you're familiar with? Like if you're mixed in Jamaica, are you black or is it I just know black. Um, so, so I don't want the top the question to be based on a Tyler issue because I can't speak on her behalf. No, I, I was don't just, know just what, quoting that that scenario. Right, I don't know what that scenario is when she says uh, in South um, Africa, South Africa. Yeah, I've never been there, so I okay. don't know about that part. Mm. What I can elaborate on is the fact that even here in America, I hate the fact how they try to separate us. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, you get a form, it's asking if you're African-American or black. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when you're coming in now with, oh, you're mixed with white and you're colored or black, like, I just think we're all black. Yeah. That's that's just my I, views I, on it. I, I agree. Think, I didn't know that there's like... I just don't. I don't like the separation. I think if you are black, you're just black. Yeah. You know, I don't. I don't like the separation. Yeah, it's just something that's really industry wide. Um, people want to pick apart genetics. Like you can't really do that shit in real time. No. It don't even make sense. It don't even make like, sense. If I could look at you and say, "Damn, you look black. You black. Right, you black. You black." <laughs> and 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 just to raise another point quickly is the fact that I remember also as a Jamaican woman when I came here. Um, uh, was it 2020? Sometimes when they were doing the Black Life Matters. Uh, Probably 2020. 2020. Yeah. Um, for George, George Floyd. I was marching. And people from, not people, but some people from Jamaica was commenting like, wait, what, why Spice over America a march? <laughs> they was mad that she was marching for George Floyd? Like a few people was like, I'm going to understand why Spice there America a march for this movement. Yeah. But what I wanted to just elaborate on is the fact that it doesn't matter what race or where you're from, your ethnicity, it doesn't matter your nationality. Yeah. If you should receive like a racism or anything, nobody not going to stop and say, oh, which country you're from? They yeah. just see black. Yeah. They just see yeah. a black woman. For sure. So it doesn't matter if I was born in America mm -hmm. or if I was born in Jamaica, I'm black. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I get it. Cause so it's, I it, didn't. I don't like the separation. At the black end of the American, day, we black. Black African, African, like we all black. Yeah, that's how I feel about watching the NBA sometimes. Like they try to some of these black players. All of them don't come from like Africa. This is I forgot if he's still playing with the Hawks or whatever. But Clint Capella, I think, is from like Switzerland or some like some place right. like that. Black, 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 darker than me. Black, right. big and black. You would have thought he was from Sudan somewhere. Right. He looks black. So nobody like thinking in in real time that it we about to do a paper bag test. It it that don't that don't make sense. That no. don't make sense.